Hi guys, welcome back to Maya's Budgets. My name is Annette. I'm a 30 year old cash budgeter. I do have a beautiful wild child. Her name is Maya, she is five. And in today's video, we are going to be budgeting my paycheck for the 17th, which is this Friday. And we are also going to be announcing the winner in a few minutes, so stay tuned for that, the giveaway winner. It'll be a super, super quick video this week. Um, as if you can tell, my voice is not doing that well. Um, I feel like I'm losing my voice, so just bear with me. I also have no nails on, so also just, you know, it's been a rough week. You guys know that Maya was, had pink eye again, or not again, but she had pink eye, so she was sick again, um, and out of school last week. So, I just feel like this year, it's going by really fast, which is good, but my goodness, why have, we've just been sick this whole year so far i just i can't and our weather has been really sucky so i'm ready for some nice weather and i'm ready for us to not be freaking sick all the time because i'm i have feel like i have been sick since november and it's getting ridiculous and the weather doesn't help and it's not like i can just sleep all day which is what i want to be doing but can't be doing that because there's always laundry or food or something to be done <sighs> anyways sorry for the complaining <laughs> let's get into the budget so again it's gonna be may 17th so also how is may already almost over i don't i don't i don't get it we are going to be budgeting 886 this week and I haven't used this paper because I hadn't made copies of it in a couple of weeks, maybe even a month, I want to say. Um, so I haven't used this paper in a while, so I'm also getting used to it. Let's go ahead and do variable expenses. I remember that I would cross this out and put more bills over here because I do have a lot of bills. But let's go ahead and start with my variable expenses, which are down here. So I have spending eating out gas and groceries in my variable expenses and these are expenses that you use pretty much on a you know daily basis well i mean gas you probably don't get every day but you know a weekly basis this is what you're pulling out from during the week so for spending i always these numbers these and bills are always the same pretty much everything for me has always been the same but i haven't done a budget with me in a little bit so i just figured let's pop in update you guys get your guys's updates like what have you been up to have you also been sick because i uh, let please make me feel like i'm not alone because this is ridiculous anyways give me your updates what's the tea what's the scoop uh, this is $130. I already know that. Bills. Uh, let's see. We have rent. Car payment. Oh, I'm sorry about my sniffling. Car payment. Gas. Cox. So rent is always $357. Again, I do budget weekly. So all of the, um, these amounts are obviously weekly which means that you obviously multiply them by four um, to get my monthly expenses so car payment is 132 gas i'm putting four cox i'm putting 12 what else phone electricity okay so phone i put 22 every week electricity i put eight water and amazon water amazon so water i put 20 it's pretty spot on every month it's typically the same 80 dollars every single month amazon i'm putting four this week because i missed my two last week because i had the wrong denominations amazon uh so cemetery and then a firm as well which i'll just put down here so cemetery is getting its usual 10 and then a firm is actually going to get 25 this week so that should equal out to 594 i want to say okay 
So $5.94 and then let's see. I owe so <clears throat> this one is my Discover credit card. It's gonna get $40. And then another one of my cards is going to get 35 So that's for what I owe. Also, we have high priority. So that's down here. Hopefully you guys can see. Let me move it up a little bit. So high priority, I do have my car insurance. And also my car tag. So these are ones that are clearly high priority that I stuff without a doubt or I try to stuff every single week. I'm coming up on a good amount on each of the envelopes. So I have to figure out how much exactly I owe for them because, and when they're due, because I'm coming up on a good amount. I think one of them already has 200 and the other has 100. So, I mean, I'm doing pretty good. And one of them I know isn't due until... That's backwards. Car insurance. I think, yeah, that's backwards. So this is 10 and this is 25, yeah. Because car insurance is every six months and my car tags is annual. Ooh, I have been doing that in every video. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, so there's that. That's $35. This is 40, 50, 60, 75. And then the 52, the savings challenges. I think I'm going to do, should I scratch off one of these right now so I know exactly how much to do? And then I'm going to also do one in this envelope as well. So I'll probably do, I think that I did 53 or 52. Let's do 52. I think that's what I pulled out. Um, or what I budgeted or what I'm budgeting. Oh my god, I can't get anything right today. Uh, let's see. So let's scratch off one so we know how much. Or should we? No, yeah, let's do that. I should have done a different one instead of going right here, but it's fine. Also, if you guys are interested, these are Jen on a Budget's scratch off savings challenges. She has so many cute ones, so go check her out. She's on Instagram. She's here on YouTube, but go check her out. Okay, so we got nine. So we have... Uh, and we're going to do... What did I say? Nine. Okay. Oh. Then that means that we could do, what's 52 minus nine? Don't judge me. 52 minus nine is 43. Do we have 43? We don't have 43, but we could do, all right, I'm looking at this so that I can try to do all three of my savings challenges. What is 25, 18? Okay, we have 18. Cool. Okay, so we'll do 25. And then we'll do 18 in the pink. Why pink? Girl, it's 52 week. 52 week. And then we will do 25 in the 20 week. So we'll do 25 on this one, 18 in this one, and then we will do the nine that we scratched off on the Mother's Day Savings Challenge. Okay. Yay. So we budgeted all of that. Cool. So all of that is budgeted. For I will go ahead and pop up the winner right here. So congratulations to you. I will go ahead and reach out to you over on Instagram. Thank you guys all for entering the giveaway. I really, really appreciate you guys all. You have no idea how much you all mean to me. I love chit-chatting with you guys every week. I love watching your guys' videos. If you also post videos, I love watching everyone's videos and commenting. And even if I just put like an emoji, just know that I did watch your full video because I know how much that support means to me and I just want to give it back to everyone else that supports me. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye, guys.